harnessing the sun to power a solar system. It sounds like something out of this world, but in fact, we're talking about Edwards Air Force Base. Over 46,000 acres, solar panels will now be harnessing the sun shining over the Mojave Desert. One of the sunniest places in the country. The bright sun able to produce more solar energy at a lower cost, which made the idea of building one of the nation's largest solar farms that much more appealing to Edwards Air Force Base. Strengthening the grid is a key element. Simon Day, vice president and head of solar development at TerraGen, said the million dollar project has already made a difference to Eastern Kern, bringing thousands of construction jobs over the last two years to the communities of Rosemond, Mojave and Lancaster. One of the reasons why Edwards Air Force Base uh, supported the project on its land, the lease revenue, which amounts to over $75.8 million over its life, goes directly to Edwards Air Force Base to continue its base operations. Now with nearly 2 million solar panels. Last September, on the 5th of September that evening, California experienced one of the largest and strongest heat waves. The California Independent System Operator, which operates the grid, it was able to call on over 3,300 megawatts of energy storage at that time time and it was able to prevent rolling blackouts and brownouts. The Edward Sanborn solar storage project, it has 971 megawatts of energy storage itself. So it's going to, for next year, have a big contribution towards grid stability in the area. Producing up to 1300 megawatts of energy. To put that in context, the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant, which is the largest power plant in the state, is 2250 megawatts. It'll help in, in a big way in that it, it offsets fossil fuels, and it can be called on by the grid whenever it's needed in an emergency. The Air Force Base now joining other communities like Tehachapi to help push the state closer to its clean energy goals. Well over 2,000 megawatts of wind is, is, is in Tehachapi, Mojave. It injects into the same location, the wind hub substation. And wind generally in this area comes online in the afternoon and evening hours, which complements very well with the solar portion, which comes on in the morning throughout the day. Shining a light on Kern as a leader in the industry. Now that this project is complete, Day says that TerraGen is already laying the groundwork to bring more solar projects to Kern County. For 23ABC News, I'm Veronica Morley, connecting you.